Hi guys, it's Nadine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to make your own apron. If you like this kind of videos, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let's get started. I have used this design for my video. You can use your own design. It will not make a difference in the way you sew it together. Please remember, this measurement is to fit me. Yours may be slightly different. I have used a one and a half by half meter piece of fabric. Just remember, if your measurements are different from mine, your fabric size will differ. Before you start, you need to make sure your fabric is square. Next, you have to lay out all your pieces on the fabric. I don't have a white material pen, so I turned the material around to mark it on the light side. Remember to work with the grain or 90 degrees against it. Remember to start with the largest piece and work your way down to the smallest piece. The neck piece needs to be longer than needed. You will do the final adjustments at the end. After measuring the pieces, cut everything out. You can mix the fabrics and colors to your own taste. I used a different fabric for my belt. I would like to thank my aunt Marita who helped me with this project. As you see, my design uses pleats. This is how you fold it. To keep it in place, you first spin it and thereafter you temporarily thread it until it is finally stitched in place. Now it is time to permanently stitch the pleats in place. When the pleats are stitched, you need to iron the pleats to create permanent seams. The neck piece is next. This is how you fold it and stitch it the correct way. I am now finished with the neck piece. Next is the breast piece. You will notice that one of these neck pieces is already permanently fixed. For the other end, an opening is left to be able to make the final adjustment at the very end. I've also temporarily thread the side of the breast piece to enable me to iron it neatly. You will see the belt design is similar to the neck piece but slightly different. Remember to iron the belt and trim the excess away. Next is the seam on the side of the skirt.
It is now time to insert my other piece of fabric. This is how you do it. Pin the pieces together before stitching. The belt and the skirt is now sewn together. Before you add the breast piece, ensure you line up the middle of the breast piece with the middle of the skirt. Stitch the two pieces together like this. After ironing, it is time for the final adjustment. Measure the final length of the neck piece to your body and permanently stitch it in place. I am really proud of this project. Although my aunt assisted me, I really can wear this with pride. I hope you try it too. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I will see you next time. Bye guys.